Welcome back to Factorio with me, JD, and we're here at our very, very, very row. Oh, my achievements got reset. Somehow the file got corrupted. Um, we're here at our very, very first attempt of train tracks, and look at our cargo wagons. We just need engines. Have they been built? Oh, 50. Done. We've got fuel on us. Uh, we'll make some more signals because we're going to need them. And I'm going to make a heap of large power poles. I could steel for more. Conveniently, we have steel here. Not a lot of it. But we have some. Uh, 1.7k. That'll do. Actually, clear some space. Uh, clear just a touch more space because I want two trains. I got some brick here. Brick can go. Whoops. Brick can go into that machine that way. Uh, Alright, we've got a bit of everything in our, in our inventory at the moment. But we have a train. At the very least, it means we can get out there, we can build, and then we can get a train ride home. We've got some ammo. Yeah, we're pretty much set. <clears throat> okay. Apart from the whole cliffs thing, that's going to make trains a little bit more awkward. Um, and I really have no choice but to build straight over this copper. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's try to avoid building over the copper. How much is here? 167,000. Yeah, we can mine that out fairly quickly. Uh, although, when you build something temporary in factory, it tends to stay pretty permanent. Ghost that down so I know where straight would have been. And then use our deconstruction planner to deconstruct the whole lot, hold down shift and deconstruct it again to put it all back. Or to undeconstruct it, it's probably more accurate. Right, go away tree. We're going to underground from there to there. Now let us get our train out at least. Now this is the track that comes back in. So this is the track we're going to take with us out into the wilderness. Around all these trees. Now biters will not generally attack train tracks. So keep that in mind. These are fairly safe when traversing the great wilderness. Thanks, spiders. Uh, we want to come into this side. Somehow. That works so far. Uh, actually worked out really well. Now, of course, I've got no power with me. So I can't even put down miners or anything yet. First step is to get out here, build our foundation tracks. Uh, we've got a train on us if we need to make a quick getaway. Really? Another tree stump. Mm. Okay, we're just going to bring the train track along like that. We're going to put our return train track two apart. Two seems two is the best spot. Main reason being we can do that and that to get things moved back across. Also, our large power poles fit nicely in the middle between the train tracks. Uh, um, this is your pretty standard gauge with, with a two train track gap in the middle. Um, some people build wider. 
Some people build more narrow. It, it really, really varies. Um, but we do have friends and neighbours down here. Uh, okay. I don't bring nearly enough gun to gun ammo. Okay. Um, we need to rearrange our... Rearrange our toolbar for combat. Nope. I want ammo in the first one. Grenades in the second one. No. Alright. I'm now equipped for combat after I repair this guy and this guy. So, we have our toolbar. Now, so far I've been avoiding my toolbar mainly because it's it's much quicker after you get used to it to press Q, you know, hover whatever you want and press Q for, for pick up that item. But... Your toolbar has the one major advantage during combat conditions. I can press X to swap from, you know, swap the order around, and one to pick up the first item, two to pick up the second item, three to pick up the third item. Uh, so we can go two. Where are the biters? They're there. And of course, it'd be night time. Whoops. Oh. No. Bugger that up already. Okay, two, no, two, one. I'll pick up my ammo. So, two, oops. Two to put them down. One, and I hold right click to pick them back up. Now, these are worms. Which outranges, desperately outranges. Uh, but they'll happily shoot a turret for quite some time, which will give you a chance to run in and get the kill shot. Either by hand or with more turrets. But we've cleared out our first little biter base. That was a tiny one, and I didn't do well at it. Uh, gun turret, gun turret. Trying to get. Gonna try to keep these in a straight line because we will. We, we, we have a proven method of clearing or well, keeping the biters at bay, and that is a gun turret wall full of ammo. Uh, I don't have nearly enough ammo on me. Look, we're going to leave it at that for the moment. That's enough to keep them at bay. Oh, Alright, so, we're going to build our train track back. Now, normally in the past, well, I would have done all this with blueprints. And I'd have a pre-set up blueprint for doing train tracks, but um... With cliffs now, it's made things slightly awkward. Well, it's a lot more dynamic. Nope. Um, all right, let's go from the other end. Again, underground, there to there. Put that power pole, that pole, the power pole. Stupid tree out of the way. Mm. Put that bit of train track up. Bring. Oh, that's right, it had copper in the way. So we actually want to take you that side of the copper. No, not with that turn, thank you. Dead straight. And then link you in there. Okay, we have the start of a train track. Uh, we just need like five trains on it. 
or four trains on it. A few trains on it. Okay. Uh, power defenses. Let's do defenses first. That seems like the logical conclusion. Uh, do I have any gun turrets? No, because we have no iron. Uh, but we do have some research. Let's get some gun turret damage. That seems logical. Alright, so that's our first train station. We need a second train station. Um, huh. Alright, our second train station. We're going to build slightly different because it's a slightly different train. Uh, that's our southbound, so let's bring... no. Come on, game! Uh, really? Can I not make that... Oh, I can't make that turn. Right, from that direction... That's how we make that turn. Okay. Yeah, you join up, don't you? Yeah, it joins up. Of course there's another tree in the way. Okay. Go away, train track. Alright, this train station's slightly different. And this train's slightly different. It's a one 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 and with two locos one facing either direction it can actually go forward or backward uh, we're going to cap that to one row because uh, this guy is going to carry ammo nothing but ammo uh, cap that to one row we need to do no but we can same as we could filter our own inventory, we can filter the train. So I told the train, we just want you to carry ammo, nothing else. We've got a couple of boxes in here to store ammo. Same story, we can... No, you can't filter a chest. You can filter a train. We do that by middle mouse click on, the, on a blank spot, and then pick what we want to filter it as. Uh, and we'll put some wood in there, and some wood in there. We'll need to automate fuel, obviously. Um, but... but to do that, we really need a decent coal supply, and we don't have one. So at the moment, we're on manual fuel. Uh, we need large power pole from there to there, for argument's sake, and then a small power pole there. Uh, we're going to grab a couple of splitters. Again, trying to line things up. Oops. Of course there's a power pole in the way. There's always a power pole in the way. Uh, I'm going to take ammo off the belt. Somehow get through to get it through this 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 train track malarkey. Uh, there I think. Go to there, can go to there. Go to there. Uh, run up to here. And that'll load bullets into the train. That's step number one. Step number two. Where's my train station? Uh, train stops. I don't have any. Let's build us a couple of train stops. You are going to be called Ammo with two M's, one O. Uh, let's even do Ammo Load. This train needs to go to Ammo Load for inventory fleet. Alright, step one. Step two, more gun turrets, JD. Uh, We'll dump the ammo we don't need. This old non-AP style. Uh, come on. Where's that box? There's that box. 
done. Uh, what else? We'll grab some belts whilst we're here. Uh, we'll grab a heap of belts actually whilst we're here. We're going to grab... Make. Make, not grab. Uh, some miners, if there's any iron left. Which it's really getting to the stage where there isn't. Uh, got some sodas, got some chests. Oh, we're making green circuits by hand. Got to make sure you get everything in your hand, you know, everything you possibly need before you go out to go complete a project. Uh, and we have the grand total of how much iron in our inventory? I don't see any. a couple of those because we need one more of those and actually we need more engines because I use my two engines so much for trying to get the, the, the outpost done this episode I don't know whether we will have time with all this running back and forward stuff uh, one steel Still Two, three. Okay. 58 iron. Well, that's not a lot. Oh, it's not a lot, JD. Alright. That's a minor. Oh, that's a minor. That's a minor. That's a minor. That's a minor. We'll happily pick up the dead ones. train with some ammo on it. We're set to automatic and let's get the hell out of here. Now I forgot to signal this so we want a we want we want train to move forwards every inch. We want a signal there and a signal there. Alright so that lets us let's stop let's do this properly. Okay so at the moment, all this red stuff is one giant um, block, which means if a train's here, it can be the only train on any of this red track. So we need to put signals down to block uh, to break it up. So we're going to put a chain signal, follow the arrow there, for a train in. This, because it's a double-headed train, it can go both in and out on the same track. So we're going to put a signal there. Now these are chain signals, they just look at the signal ahead of them. This one coming in is looking at the train station. This one coming out is looking at whatever signals on the way out. There isn't one. We need the other style of signal, this one. We need to put that one there. So now you can see that all this blue is one side of the track. So that's a massive bite that's coming over to say hello. Come on guys. You march in lines, you charge, done. Um, where were we? Signals. Uh, so we've broken that up. We want to break this up. And we want to break that up. Now, the rule of thumb, and it's a rule of thumb, it doesn't always apply, but generally it'll get you out of trouble, is before a merge you want a chain signal after a merge you want a full signal and the idea is trains stop at full signals uh, so trains coming down here it looks at the full signal full signal is green it then looks at the chain signal which if I put a train right here is now red it will come and it will stop here the reason it's stopped here is we don't want it to stop here 
or stop here and and be across the intersection. Okay. So to further the rule of thumb, really your next full signal should be a full train's length away from the last solid signal uh, from the last intersection. Now it's not always possible. And it can cause throughput problems because, you know, this is an intersection. You want trains to get through here as fast as possible. So we do the whole, eh, it's a risk, but I'm going to put the signal far too close and hope that nothing goes wrong. If things do go wrong, just means it needs to be fixed. And fixing something is, is part of the game. All right. uh, but yes, also after a, a, a intersection or after a crossing, we put another full signal to break up the blocks. Okay. Now, we're going to take our little train and we're going to drive out. Ooh! It's technically the wrong side of the track, JD. We're on left-hand drive. Uh, and the quickest way to tell left-hand drive from right-hand drive is left-hand drive, the signals are on the inside and right-hand drive, signals are on the outside. We need to stop here. Uh, we need power and we might as well get on foot at this stage uh, signal signal uh, another rule of thumb is look for your main line signals are important obviously uh, but generally once a power pole like technically they should be a train length apart depending on what length your trains are if you've got little 111s, tiny itty bitty trains, being one loco, one wagon, one loco, um, or locomotive. So one of these, one of these, one of these. Um, obviously signaling them every train length apart would be a little bit of a nightmare. Um, but if you've got, I, I did the Gigabase series with um, 312.3s, which were massive. Um, obviously and those they were signaled uh, depends on where some of them were signaled uh, every two train lengths apart other parts were signaled every train length apart um, there were whole sections train uh, signaled every uh, a quarter of a train part um, a lot of that comes down to throughput and that sort of stuff but we will cover that later on in the series as we build bigger and better trains for the moment, we're just getting the starting base up and running. All right, so we'll signal that far. This is our ammo train. We have our our nice little gun turrets here. So we want roughly about here somewhere. Hold down shift. We want a train station. And the thing you have to remove, remember about train tracks is they move, uh, they're, they're two tiles in size, so they move on a two tile grid. Oh really, I can't make that corner? So a lot of times you're actually gonna, it's easier to move something else to match where your train tracks end up rather than trying to get your train tracks to line up with a existing build. Um, like this is one, two, three, four, five. That's an odd amount of part. Train cannot get into the position I wanted. Uh, we're gonna call you ammo uh, plus. And with our little marker system, we can see that that and that are the two spots we want a chest look a chest there and a chest there all that belt becomes useless uh, we want a large power pole from there then hooked back up to the main train state a uh, train line we want our inserters put down uh, actually we want to try to Nah, let's just have ammo on one side of the belt. That should be more than enough. Okay, so we want to pick up our train and say, hey you, come to ammo plus. Inventory, no, we want inactivity of five seconds. Go. Mm. You have 
too much ammo. So we're going to dump our ammo in here. We're also going to lock these chests to not even that much. Like A square. A squares heaps. Alright. Last thing we want to do is we want to add a bit of smarts to this train station. So we want you to go there and then come here and wait for five seconds. Uh, we're going to hook you up to those chests. And we're going to say enable and disable this train station. So the train station is only enabled if bullets are less than 200. So we're going to map view right now. If I'm not standing in the way. We'll see. Train station is currently enabled. It is white. If I disconnect that. Oh, we're about to hit 200. Oh, we just hit 200. Train station went red. It no longer has 200. It has more than 200 ammo in it. So it's turned off. Quick and easy as that. Which means the train cannot path to it. Which means the train's not going to leave its home station. It's going to stay right where it's meant to. Off the track, out of the way, and which is great because when we set up other outposts, we don't want it driving out and hanging around at train stations where there's nothing it can do because they're already full. Uh, we'd much prefer it to uh, only show up, hang around for as little time as it needs to, and then bugger off back to home base. No, we need to keep going further. Put down that inserter. Mm. Repair pack. Okay, and then right about here will be the corner. Inserted to fill you. Oh. Uh, there and there. And then we want a radar. And we'll repair this guy whilst we're here. Drag the power poles out. Yep, we'll just cover the bottom of the iron. Gun turrets, definitely. Uh, six. Uh, I need to cover. I need to cover a certain amount. Oh, there's that stone there that we wanted as well. All right, stone will have to be a future upgrade. Uh, okay. We'll call that done for the moment. Because I have gun turrets, five left. And the north side's not covered. At all. So we want to split a uh, yeah. Gun turret there. Gun turret there. Uh, damn, that's a corner. Corner already. Okay. Inserter, inserter. Whoops. Inserter, inserter. Uh, where are my power poles gone? Put them back down there. Forty-one eighty. So that means, see, train station's now white again. Train station's been turned back on. Um, you're out there. You're refilling. When inventory is full, he will come back. 
And the reason we've got these two buffer chests here is exactly that. They, they just store excess. Right. So there's 1.2. Okay, obviously I didn't cap this chest as hard as I thought I should have. Or as I really should have. Uh, so I'll have to cap them later. And let's put down a radar because it is a corner. I'm going to put one there. That's it. That's it for defenses. Uh... Alright. Well, look, I'm going to actually call it here for this episode. It's not as much progress as I wanted to do. Um, but we're up to 30 minutes already. So I'm going to call it here. We're mostly defended, you know, apart from the whole north side and the rear. Um, and we haven't got the stone, which do we really need at the moment? Not really. A little bit of stone, 24,000. We'll need it shortly, but we don't need it right now. Um, yeah, we don't need it, need it. And I thought there was another little patch. There's that little patch there. Oh, wow, that really is dead. Um, yeah, we need to get this iron hooked up now. So, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Um, next episode, definitely some iron production, some major iron production, a major train station. Um, we're going to get stuff really, really pumping along. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, I will see you in the next episode where we get the outpost done and who knows what else. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!